but a biochemist is challenging that theory. Jesse Inchowski says if you want to lose weight, then you need to change how you eat to help balance your blood sugars. And she's on a mission to change lives, sharing her science with followers on social media. Such an interesting idea. Jesse says that you can still enjoy starchy foods without feeling guilty just by eating in the right order. Now, in her upcoming book, Glucose Revolution, she's revealing her 10 simple science hacks. And Jesse is with us now. Uh, Jesse, tell us the order. How the order of eating your food will make me lose weight. Yes, there's a magic order. It's absolutely correct. So oh. if you have a plate of food in front of you and you look at the ingredients, if you eat the ingredients in a specific order, you will reduce the glucose spike, so the blood sugar spike in your body by up to 75%, which means less inflammation, less weight gain, less aging, fewer cravings. Oh. And the correct order is, yes, it's vegetables first, proteins and fats second, and carbs last. So you don't actually have to change what you're eating, right. just how you're eating to see tremendous results okay. in your health. Okay, so... You eat your salad first, then your bit of chicken, and then your potatoes. Exactly. And does wow. it matter how long? I mean, can it just all be on the one plate and you just eat it in that sequence? You don't have to wait. Yeah, you don't have to wait. Actually, you can just eat them in an order, so without even wow. waiting. We used to think that, you know, all of our foods get mixed into our stomachs, so actually it doesn't matter what yeah. order you eat them in. But now the science shows that it's, shows us it's not true. So if you eat the vegetables first, the fiber in the vegetables is going to coat the inside of your intestine and prevent a glucose spike from happening. So it's actually very easy and very effective. So all those mm. fancy people who put the vegetables on top of their chicken on the fork, Forget that, just do one at a oh. time. But why are glucose levels so important? Because it turns out that 90% of us actually have deregulated glucose levels, and we don't know it. But we do know the symptoms. I'm talking cravings for sweet foods, feeling hungry every 90 minutes, feeling sleepy in the afternoon, having weight gain that we can't explain, having hormonal issues, not sleeping very well, and then long-term, the development of conditions like type 2 diabetes. But yeah, it's important for everybody. And if you use the hacks in my book, you can feel better in a matter of days. Oh, so I think what you've just described then affects everyone, you know, at some point or another. So what are your, your hacks, your tips? So the number one is what we just discussed, so eating food in the right order. Then another one that's really popular uh, in my community is adding vinegar to your day. So I'm talking one tablespoon of vinegar in a tall glass of water before each meal. And it can be no. any type of vinegar except balsamic. Yeah, and, oh. and the way it works is really, really cool because the vinegar goes to your muscles and tells your muscles to soak up glucose as it arrives in your bloodstream. And as a result, it lowers the glucose spike of the meal you just had. So you're eating the same thing, but you're having way fewer consequences on your physical and mental health. That's so interesting. Also, what's the difference between having a sweet snack and dessert? Mm. So if you want to eat something sweet, let's say you walk past a bakery and you see a cookie or a piece of cake that looks delicious, when you eat it, we'll actually impact how much it'll make you gain weight. So it's much better to save that sweet thing for dessert after your next meal than to have it on an empty stomach. Because if it's for dessert, again, it creates a smaller glucose spike. So you see so many benefits, even though you're still eating the same delicious slice of cake. And that's what I'm all about. You know, these really easy hacks Whoa. that can change your life without wow. changing okay. what you eat. Uh, vinegar and water. Sounds revolting. Uh, can you have it in a, in a bit of juice or something like that, just so I get it down pat today? I would avoid juice, but you can do lemon, you can add it to some tea, for example. And if you don't oh, like yeah. to taste, you know, just work up to it. So start with a tiny bit of vinegar, and after a while, you'll love it. I mean, at the beginning, <laughs> I didn't like it either, but now I love the taste. So mm. I want to dry wretch just thinking about drinking vinegar, <laughs> but I'm prepared to do it if I can go past the bakery and buy yeah, a slice yeah. of cake without that, worrying. So interesting. That, Jesse, that is so fascinating. Yeah. Thank you for telling us about it. You're very welcome.
Wow. They're easy tips, yeah. aren't they? I love the way she described it mm. with a science background. 